This thing is monstrously strong. Deeply satisfying. We think it should go with a bit of a bang. Wine tourism is a huge contributor to the economy in the Western Cape. You'll see that the landscapes are absolutely stunning. We've got a wonderful climate, a lot of people traveling from around the world and specifically Europe into the Cape. And as such, you have a large number of wineries who are very much focused on wine tourism, whether it be accommodation, wine tours, picnics, restaurants. So we are keen to contribute to wine tourism in the way that we, we feel we can. Um, we're surrounded by very, very good restaurants and uh, one could add another restaurant, but we, we decided to provide something for people to do after they've had lunch, um, which is come and see our medieval siege weapon. The whole trebuchet exercise is, is really built on passion. We like old things, we like history, we like heritage, but we also like to see what modern technology can do when combined with tradition. Once the trebuchet is built and tested, we, we're ex very excited to be shipping it out to our local community of Solari's Pass Village uh, near Stellenbosch, South Africa. We think it'll bring a good deal of excitement to the village, uh, to the school kids, uh, to the families, uh, and, uh, and we, we think it should go with a bit of a bang. that coastal climate here where we've got the influence from the wind that has a good, um, it, it, it's very positive for this area because it cools the vines down at night and then also through the growing season at night there's always this cold breeze running through the vines which are helping with the longer ripening periods. So in general we will get, I would say, almost like a modern, modern old world style of wine from this area. We are in general about three degrees, three, four degrees Celsius lower than Stellenbosch, which also has an influence on the wines. We are in the process and we already planted some new varieties on the farm because we don't want to just focus on single variety wines. We want to have Malbec, for instance, with the Merlots. We want to put a bit of Viognier maybe with some new Blanc or Chardonnay. So we're in the process of planting new varieties, coming up with blends that we can play around with. The whole purpose of the trebuchet is to support our many community projects at the bottom of our village where we run soup kitchens in the winter months. We have a Sunday school for the kids, we do the pensioners lunch every two weeks and musical lessons also for the kids. So what we want is a sustainable vehicle that will raise money for our projects where people can come watch something being chucked across a field and give donations if they feel suitably entertained. As it is, you know, it all comes down to attention to detail and of course quality. I mean, that's our main goal and I suppose most wineries. Main goal is to produce top quality premium wines. At this point of time, I think we can only move forward in a very positive way. I mean, there's still a lot of open land and good, good soil and stuff to, produce, uh, to plant more grapes and stuff. So I think, yeah, uh, let's, say, let's, say, let's say 10 years down the line, I can only see this farm just, you know, just going forward from strength to strength you know, and producing top quality wine. Mm -hmm.